What's something that nobody told you about when you begin your self-healing and self-loving journey? So this is going to be the Pride Edition. Sometimes severing relationships with cisgender heterosexual people is all that you need to begin your self-love journey, including family. Many of the aforementioned will say that they still love you, they still like you, you're no different in their eyes, and they will still turn around and be bigoted. Many of them will not do the reading, many of them will not listen to the videos, many of them will not unlearn their biases, many of them will expect you to tolerate their hatefulness and their ignorance. And whether you realize it or not, this takes a toll on your self-esteem if you're constantly around people who put you down or say words that are offensive or have adverse reactions to something as simple as somebody having a kiss on national TV. This is complicated even further if you are bisexual, pansexual, if you're transgender, because we have this idea of a LGBT community that holds hands and sings underneath the rainbow. And when you go into LGBT spaces, it's oftentimes dominated by gay men and lesbian women, and they are not always the most welcoming to bisexual people and transgender people. But we keep on going on our self-love and healing journey. We keep going trying to find people who are accepting and we don't tolerate bigotry, whether it's from somebody wearing a rainbow or whether they're not wearing a rainbow. What's something that nobody told you about when you begin your self-healing and self-loving journey? First, this shit is not always cute. It's really, really hard and it's really, really messy. Next, people will be mad at you for healing and it will make some people not like you. Sometimes before you even open your mouth. Sometimes what happens when you establish boundaries or it's really clear that you love and like yourself is that it will be too much for some people. People who do not love and like themselves will say and do things to try and make you doubt yourself or they will lash out in other ways. And here's the kicker, not even because they always mean to or even want to.